What's going on guys? Snickers13 here, back again with another episode of Attack on Titan. We are on episode 10 of season 3. Um, so, right off the bat, I failed again. I'm sorry guys, I always forget to go back to those mid-scene uh, cards. I think I've gotten them all this season, even if I had to catch back up on them. But I'm going to go ahead and check out last episode's card, because I completely missed it. Um, so, whoo. okay, so there's that. Have not read it yet, of course, um, but yeah, I, I try to go back even if I forget it and just like put it at the start of my next video if I do forget it because like I don't I don't pause videos like I I can't pause videos because I have them like timer based on YouTube so um, yeah I just I can't pause them unfortunately um, but I do want to make kind of a habit of going back on some things and maybe like rewatching some stuff with you guys like after the episode is finished to fully soak in some things that I might have missed. Um, I'd like to think that I'm I'm pretty good at picking up a good amount of things, you know, just watching it without pausing it. But every once in a while, something slips my mind, and I'm like, dang it, man, I can't believe I forgot that. So, um, yes, this is uh, episode 9's um, little info card here. So I just want to read this right before we start uh, episode 10, honestly. Um, so here we go. Okay, Rod, Rod Reese, Rod Reese Titan. The transfigured form of Rod Reese resulting from the transformation serum okay that's the um what is it the uh, the bone marrow that they put into you um its size exceeds even the colossal titan that's you know I, I obviously um and it possesses a similar ability to emit scalding steam Scal okay but all t all titans have had scalding steam but like i said this one was like catching the landscape around it on fire so this is particularly dangerous, like the like the steam from uh, even Bertholdt with the Colossal Titan, you know, it was hot, but it wasn't like killing people or like burning them, like straight up like burning, burning them. Um, so that's interesting to me why, why this one, maybe that's like its ability, you know, we've seen some Titans have, or Titans, well, I was going to say like all these Titans have an ability per se, but I'm not even sure about that now because... We found that the hardening ability was from like a something ingested, like a like a not like a potion, but you know, like that's kind of a fantasy term. But you know what I mean, like like a like a liquid concoction or something that Aaron drank. Um. So I'm not even sure that these titans have specific abilities now, but I'm I was almost wondering if that's like this titan's ability was like it's superheated steam, whereas other titans just have regular steam. Um, due to its body and weight, it's unable to walk and must crawl across the ground. Right, that was kind of obvious. Like, it couldn't even lift itself up until it got to the wall. And it's like, oh, I'm just going to get up there. Um, once again, okay, yeah, let me uh, go ahead and take that off. But, um, yeah, once again, I'm not entirely sold that this thing is dead. Um, we saw the pieces flying into the, in, you know, beyond the wall. And Historia and, you know, Mikasa and them, they were awesome and getting rid of these pieces so they didn't like kill people essentially coming in but um we didn't see the actual main body or anything after that we just saw the pieces getting cleaned up essentially in the in the sky before they hit the ground so uh we didn't see its body we didn't see its body this it's still alive in my in my head it's still alive i'm sorry um and that's terrifying. And then we have Kenny. Kenny! Kenny's about to turn into a Titan. Like, he could turn into a Titan with that serum. Like, what the hell? That's that's terrifying. This dude was already scary. And then you give him Titan powers? Like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh-uh. No, 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 show. Please. Please, no. Please, no. We don't need that. Good lord, we don't need that. We already have enough to deal with as is, man. But Levi's right there. So, is Levi going to stop him from taking that? Like, somehow? Like, like please. Like, Levi, you're right there. Like, please don't let this happen, bro. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know where we're going here. I don't know where we're going here. And it, I thought we were going to lose maybe someone last episode, but I don't know. I feel like we're... we're <laughs> guys, it's been, uh, it's been 10 episodes. We need to lose someone important again. Unfortunately, we're, it's, uh, you know, we're kind of overdue for that. Um uh hannes you know i think hannes was our last major death right yeah that's scary 
that's scary to me. Um, so yeah, we'll see where this is going. Uh, this is season three, episode ten, guys. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, I'm always so nervous starting these episodes because it's like, what is this? What is this adventure gonna we're gonna bring this time? Because it it's always something just you don't see coming you know it, it always is it always subverts where i think the story is going or where i think we're headed with characters or or plot lines and it's like it's getting scary man honestly like I, like i'm getting so or I've, I've been so invested in these characters but i'm getting so much more invested in these characters on uh, you know from the last two seasons i've been watching on camera now um I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose any of these people. So, and like I said, they kept talking about Historia being, oh, you're going to be queen. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be put on, onto the throne basically now. And it's like, they keep mentioning this and that's a red flag to me. I'm like, bro, stop saying that's going to happen because the more you say it's going to happen, the less likely it's going to happen in the story. You know, um, you don't just lay a path down for someone into the future and be like, here, this is going to happen. And then it just happens, you know, because like we're, there's no twists and turns there. You got to have twists and turns and it's not it's not going to happen the way they want it to happen. I already know. I already feel it, guys. Um, OK, uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this. Good Lord, I've been talking for a good minute here. Um, yeah, so we are on season three, episode 10. That's what we're on. OK, if you guys are ready, we're going to jump into this in three two, one, go. Oh, here we go. I'm worried. I'm nervous. I mean, things look okay here, but this is the, the, uh, was it the military police? The, uh, the ones that protect the, the main wall. Is that Sina or Maria? Sina, I think. Wait, is this before? Because I thought Levi was with, um... Okay. Okay, so this is right before what we saw last episode. That's not Kenny, right? Wait, what? That is Kenny? Who is this? Hurry. That's Rod! Oh, so this is okay. So the, okay, this is part of uh, he's part of the Reese family. Hurry.あかまんけの末裔ではなかろうか。であれば私に刃を向ける理由は彼自身にある。ちっ。ふう。<笑> Not gonna lie, I thought Uri was a woman at first. <laughs> now you're bragging? Kenny. I have a little bit more respect for you than that, man. I have a little bit more respect for you than that, man. I have a little bit more respect for you than that, man. I have a little bit more respect Right。今思えば一族の恨みなんて大して感じてなかったのかもしれない。何の真似だ。赤間なんだろう。こいつの記憶は消せない。殺そうかないのだ。You can't erase the Ackerman family's memories? Hello? Why? What what? That's a revelation. Yo, that's crazy. That's the, like the future king supposedly bowing to him, right? Because Uri was supposed to take over the throne, I guess? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. 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 I do and this is where he kind of swore loyalty to them, right? Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense why he was with Rod Reese, then. 
こうして悪カーマン系の迫害は終わった。That's a crazy city. Like what? 彼らの下を歩けるようになったわけじゃねえが。What do you do? Oh. You still alive? That I was about to say, man. She don't look alive. That was Levi's mother? I'm kind of worried that we're getting a Levi backstory here. Levi. Tadano. Yo, what? why is he just sitting in his, the room with his dead mother, man? That's awful. How were they acquainted, though? That's my question. That's these people looking. Like, it's not y'all business. Like, stop staring. So Kenny does have a part of him that actually does care a little bit. Train him how to be a killer. So cordial. <laughs> This ain't the priest, is it? Sonnet, son, yo. Zibun shinsu saranazatrio dana. Dakarore, what don't the shiotomo conashi ker? Oh, my vachinoka. My tripping? That's not, is that the priest? No, motoni kudata. Ore. Sana. Tabun yatsga ichiban tsiagarda. It takes real strength to. To forgive people and to bow down and you know humble yourself. Damn, yeah, Levi was savage even back then. Oh, okay, so that was his sister. Kucho? Kucho? Uh, Levi's mother? So Levi is a hundred percent. So Levi actually is like fully related to Mikasa's family. I thought that he had adopted Levi. Mm. That's crazy. So they acquire like all the memories as it passes down, like the power as they give others the power within the family. Kenny, この世界はそう遠くない未来必ず滅ぶ。そのわずかな人類の黄昏に、私は楽園を築き上げたいのだ。滅ぼし合うほかなかった我々を友人にしたものは一体なんだ。Forgiveness. 暴力か。Nah. Uh, humility, you know, being humble. One decision away from being enemies and killing each other to being friends. Right. So to uh, Historia's sister, essentially, right? Yeah. It's not useless. So it changed you. It changed you, Kenny. Like he can't see. Yeah, he can't. He couldn't see the like, the power that it actually changed him. この新設された対人立体機動部隊の隊長を務めることになった。よろしくな。Yeah, they don't look too too thrilled about this. まあ、わけが上がらんのも上がる。みんな慈悲深くなっちまうらしい。こんな草野郎でもそうなっちまうのか。
Yeah, yeah, I do feel like that's true. Thinking back on all the people that we've known that are Titans now, they all had some kind of. Oh, that was her too. Damn, I didn't even notice. That was her from back then. Yeah, pretty much everyone that's gotten Titan power has kind of had some sensibility to them, like some. Nah. They don't really want to do some of the things they're doing, you know? Yo, is Levi going to allow him to turn into a Titan? Yeah. Because of their past? To save him? Yo, because it's right there. You could stop him right now. He's straight up telling him, too. Like, Levi, are you going to let this happen? You're actually going to let this happen, right? Did you want Levi to decide for you? So you're saying that was like a failed injection? Yo, guys, my heart is beating right now. I'm really nervous. <laughs> A slave to your own thoughts, to your own ideals, to what you think. Yo, yo, Levi's gonna, like, Levi's gonna do it. Levi's gonna put that. Levi's gonna inject him. Don't wait. I don't know. I don't know what I want now. Like. Right, yes, that's a big question. Please. So the Ackermans were, were for humanity's survival. Yes, yes. Yes, please, please. Give us give us something here. Give us give us I mean we kinda know. I kinda know at least, but just, ah, it's like, like, did you ever meet Mikasa, Kenny? Like, did Levi ever meet Mikasa? Yo, ah, come on, man. Don't make me feel for this dude. Don't make me feel for this dude. This dude was, like, awful, man. Oh, he didn't take it. Is he die? Did he literally die? Yo. He could have taken it. Yo. Wow. Wow. No way. What? It happened! It actually happened! Yo, his story is the queen! It actually happened! I never thought it would happen! Hey! Let's go! Let's go! Wow! Yo, she looks amazing as queen! What? She deserves it. Yo, I'm tearing up, man. This is beautiful. Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Damn it, it's gonna hit me, guys. That's the first time we've seen Levi. Without, like, a dead look in his eyes, man. Damn, and then... Yo! Yo, it's so, so beautiful, man. Ooh! First hold Rider. Bruh, oh my god, what?! Yo! Wait, he's... There. He was actually inside the Beast Titan? I thought he was just riding the Beast Titan last time we saw him. Yo, what is happening? Who are you?
that shit that hit me, man. That hit me, man. It's yo. Levi's been through a lot, man. To see him like that, to see him like genuinely looking happy. That shit hit me, man. It's about to hit me again, too. Like, ugh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ugh. We're good. <laughs> this show. This show. Attack on Titan. Never fails to impress. It never fails to impress. Ever. Ever. Um, I don't, I don't think there's been one episode since this series started that... That wasn't, like, at least really, really good, you know? It's just, it's been such a ride. It's been such a ride. It's... <laughs> ah, I'm so glad. I don't know, like, any of these spoilers, man. I'm, like, I, there's so much of this that I, I felt like I could have gotten spoiled on, and I'm just so, so happy, so thankful that it didn't happen, you know? Like I said, I did get spoiled on some stuff back in the day, like way back in the day. But, I'm, I, hey, for once, my uh, my slightly poor memory has paid off. And, I, you know, I don't remember those spoilers. And I'm so glad I don't. Like, because I don't even remember if it was anything about last season or this season or what, what it would be for. But... But this would be so much less impactful for me if, if you know, I had these things spoiled. Honestly, like, man, it's these moments are hitting me hard, and I love that. That's what I love about anime, these moments that just that hit you hard out of nowhere. You don't expect it, and it just... <sighs> it's great. I love it. I love Attack on Titan. I love these characters. I love that we had this, like, reprieve from everything going on i love it man I, we got we got we got some slight happiness in here and I, it's just that's kind of one of the things that i really loved about um game of thrones is that you have all this horrible stuff thrown at you throughout the series you know and then you'll get these moments of just actual happiness and you're like it, like it genuinely makes you happy because it's so far and few between these moments of happiness that it genuinely just it hits you. It's like, wow, I'm, like I love this. It's so great to see some good come from all this awful, awful crap in the world. And it's just, man, it just it, it hits it hits different. It hits different when it's done that way, man. And Attack on Titan definitely it gives me that Game of Thrones type of vibe with that kind of that kind of storytelling where you get so much awful stuff thrown your way, so many people dying, so many things happening that are, go wrong. And then you get these shot, these little, you know, it's a, um, it's a great, great quote from uh, the ending of Man of season two, is that like even in the blackness of this abyss, you know, all this dark stuff happening around you, that makes the single point of light, that little bit of happiness, shine so much brighter because it's in the darkness. You know, that's all you can see is that one little point of light that really. That's what really makes it shine because if you're in a bright room, you wouldn't see that single point of light. You know that's 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 there, and and that's that's a beautiful thing. That's a really beautiful thing, and this show is very much a, a an embodiment of that. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode. I can't wait to continue on with this season because it's been nothing short of amazing. This has definitely been my favorite season so far, um, and we're not even halfway through, so. Uh, Bring it on. Bring it on, rest of season three, because I am so excited to continue. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.